All right, guys, the best section of them all, miscellaneous. Dun, dun, dun. Boom, boom, boom. All right, college basketball is back. If you didn't watch that fucking game of Duke in Kentucky, you are a square. <laughs> Zion Williamson and fucking R.J. Barrett are the number one and number two pick. They are, they looked phenomenal. Zion Williamson is a freak of nature. 6'9", can shoot, 280, he weighs more than any act active NBA player, and is a 40 inch vertical. What are we doing here? <laughs> I don't know if he weighs more than any active. He does, no, it's a fact. No way. Yes, the, 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 the active heaviest NBA player was Andre Drummond, and he's, oh he's, he's 279. Way. Look it up. Holy shit. I trust the DSD that. DSD special. Me. Yeah, if you want, you can look it up. It's he is. <laughs> Boom. And by the way, I take no, I take full credit if it's right, and if it's wrong, no credit. <laughs> All right. I don't want any of that. That's a spicy take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was right. But so, um, uh, DFD, take us off. How good is college basketball gonna be this year? Um, uh, that's my take. <laughs> that, right there, that word right there is like how I feel about it. Duke wow. is gonna win, no question. Okay, so it was one game. I know. Is it the best team ever? Ever, sold? ever. <laughs> Fab Five, no chance. Uh, we bet Kentucky. Yeah, we bet Kentucky. Now, They're supposed to be the DFT second best. Didn't. Yeah, DFT and yeah, DKD did. Man. The second best recruiting class with returning three returning sophomores in the starting lineup. I'm like, okay, those guys are gonna take a little while to mesh. No, how We're is just Duke gonna drop 124 points against Candy? <laughs> how is Duke? Not <laughs> the number one seed. Oh, that's going to change on Kansas, that money down Kansas, the toilet. Yeah, yeah, but they were fourth. They're fourth, dude. No. Like, uh, no, so who are the people who even make those rankings? Those guys don't know shit. It's true. Really? You know what I mean? It's like, think of the college football. I mean, same thing. Exactly. Those guys I don't know anything. about to say that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I think you just need to fire anybody related to college sports and rankings and yeah. start over because they're right. I, I got to tell you. These guys are all terrible. I got to tell you. Hire us. We're, we're yeah, far more NCAA. knowledgeable. We won't pay players much. <laughs> uh, wow, I love that. That was a good take. Just a commission off of what they're what they uh, yeah, I'm just going to say this real quick, though. He's been in the limelight since he was like 10 years old dunking, you know, like against grown men. <laughs> this kid has the babiest face you can see, but he's built like a motherfucking man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And RJ Barrett, this kid, just like, he literally Loses. shoots with ease. Yeah. He has so much talent. I mean, the, the only thing about RJ Barrett is there's a lot of players in the NBA like RJ Barrett. There's not many like Zion Williamson. The kid can shoot, too. Barely. It's ugly. But he can shoot. <laughs> but his, it's ugly, but, <laughs> but he can shoot. But it's not quite Markel Fultz ugly, yeah. but it's pretty damn yeah. ugly. It, but he's like 17. But and, he, and he doesn't need to shoot. Well, he so drive so his, like first shoot, his first fucking points as a dookie, he was on the three mismatch with a guard, and I'm like, oh, he's taking it to the hoop. No, he takes a three and brains it. He has an ugly shot, though, I'm just saying. But, yeah, like, still, though, it's like, kids a beast. So what do you think about that? I, I took all I the mean, I think that. I think Duke's the best college basketball team we've seen in our lifetime. That's a good take. Yeah, it's coming from a man who bet against him last night. But I'll tell you this, though. Little, are we premature to say this one game in? Or I don't think so. I, mean, I, I think no? it's definitely a hype train. Yeah. I think it's definitely, but it also has the possibility for this team to end up like the be, being like the Golden State Warriors of college basketball. Dude, yeah. dude, so. dude, like, they have this other kid named Cam Reddish. Yeah, he's number three. But dude, I will give bro, him. Bro, he didn't even like do anything. And I thought he put up the best. No, he put up like the best stats. Yeah, so yeah, he, stats yeah. But like, like, like he didn't jump off the paper. Like no, yeah, but yeah, he was like definitely like ten for twelve from the field, like eighteen rebounds. I was like, damn, this guy was like sneaky. And the best and player. and I'll tell you this: at the free throw line, he's a big man and he's so silky, mm -hmm. dude. <laughs> nothing like that, dude. Like like yeah, like, like like Al yeah, Horford like, silky. Yeah, you know, it's like. Shh. Those are those are Boop. capers. Yeah. Oh man, I, I couldn't be any happier about that. And I don't even really like Duke either. I'm just like was pumped about watching it. The, the best part about it is the the shimming light at the end of the tunnel. I would say is that regardless of how good they are, it comes down to the 64 team tournament. That's and what it's I'm like you never the March Madness, dude. You never know. That one awesome. seed, they could be that one seed that gets upset by. By the last season. Yeah, well, it happened I, last year, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. But, but like, but if like, it's gonna happen to Duke, they're gonna need. 
I mean, the season very, really comes down to it. Zion really legs. needs to be 100% healthy throughout yeah. the entire and season, especially the end of the season and into March. I mean, he. I mean, if he's going to get hurt, this? you kind of want it to happen early. I, I think if Zion gets hurt, and oh, they're still going to be the best team in the league. They have that much talent. Do oh, they, for sure. But, and, and, they, and they also have like, like Trey Jones. Trey, Trey Jones. The fourth freshman. Or whatever. But like, yeah. dude, he's his brother's in the NBA. Like, I don't think he was a good. He's a good player, but like, that's just like, adding to all these different types of like metrics that they have. And like. You know, I'm not going to get into it. You want to honestly but. know what their number one concern is, best chance of not winning the championship, is the fucking, Ego. like, FBI uh. <laughs> kicking these kids yeah. out. Well, I, I mean, I don't know if you saw that. That's the best chance that. of them not winning. I don't know if you saw it with Zion Williamson. He was going to go to Kansas, Kansas. and yeah. he asked for money, and they he said no. He self on record of well, there was no, like, official yeah. deal. So, they so kind of, like, uh, don't be a Rick Patino and take money from a deal. But can I just, like, ask or, you, can I ask you an honest question, though? Yeah, like, right? So does that mean that Duke didn't pay him? No, Duke didn't pay him. Kansas was going to, and he said, no, we don't want your money. We're going to go to Duke for free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I think right. honestly, though, I think it really is time that they that the NCAA just pays these goddamn athletes and gets it over with. Who, who but I th- agree honestly, with I think part. the reason they did they, I think a big piece is that if they pay college basketball and say obviously college football because those are the two money makers, what's that going to look like from the other sports perspective? Yeah. You know what I mean? Imagine you play like field hockey, like yeah, look field at, hockey. But, yeah, exactly. But, like, hey, we're not but who made. cares? I, 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 it's the same with the WNBA. Get better fucking ratings then. Yeah, I, I don't care. And, and, and dude, like, they don't have to get paid percentages or anything. Just give them, like, like um, dude, all I'm asking to give these guys is, like, some sort of monthly rent. Some of these guys are poor as shit, and they just co- and go they to college yeah. because they have to go to the college. That's why I think the NCAA is, is a scam anyways. They shouldn't have to go to college. We can go down a deep, deep, deep yeah. road here. But, like, I'm just going to tell you right now, I really am all for, you know, go right to the NBA right out of high school. But... For the entertainment factor, I want them to go to college. I still think they should all go to college for at least two years. I don't think they should be a one and done, but there should be some sort of NBA, what do you, if you want to call it, a developmental league, a minor league, some sort of NBA-affiliated league that these athletes can bypass college and play in that league for a little while and then go to the pros. Why, though? Strictly physical. I mean, some of these kids are coming out, like you some. said, 18 years old. Yeah, but if, you, if you're going to make an exception for one, you got to make that exception for all. I have my take, spicy take, three pepper take for you out there. You have a choice. You either, just like baseball, you either go to college and then you can't go one and done if you go to college. You have to stay at like least that. two years so you can leave after your second year, right? That's your choice. Or if you want to go after, after high school and you get drafted, there's only 54, or no, there's like 58, 60 kids drafted because there's only two rounds in the NBA. If you're not good enough to get drafted in those 60 kids, you got to go to college for at least two years until you have another chance to enter so, the NBA so, so, so you're telling me that Zion Williamson couldn't play in the NBA Could've. today? Yeah, he yeah. would have gotten drafted. You're no telling question. me that R.J. Barrett wouldn't be in the NBA today? Like, yep. honestly. So, like, that's my – I mean, I know that they're crazy – You you can't – it's really hard to – because they're, they're, they're generational talent. It's, it hurts college basketball more having one and duns than it does these I kids agree. in the NBA already, you know? It's I think like, the one and done is – the worst yeah, thing that because can it's like we're sports. never going to see these kids again. While if they had to come back next year, it's like dope. We get them for two years. You True. get to see them mash, and you get to see them against other other. I co-sign. Players. I co-sign DFD's take. Yep. Co-sign. NCAA. We're available. Um, you know? So one last thing on college basketball that I saw. Did you know, guy? You guys know Matt McC- Mac McClung? Yep. So he went to Georgetown. Dude, this kid is electrifying. Do you see that dunk he had? Sought to transfer after the coaching change. He stuck around, and now he's got Max McClung. For a reason. And now I can give him the hashtag. Hashtag Mac Attack. He ran down the court. I think it was, and this could be a false take here, but I think it was his first points. Double clutch dunk. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> he's like. Yeah, I wish I saw it. Yeah, check DSD on Twitter. Official DSD. All right, so. Uh, Can I throw yeah. real quick before I am pretty sure that that is his his uncle, Riff Raff. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Oh Spicy take, God. three pepper take. He wants, he wants he wants full credit. That. He wants full credit if it's right. He wants <laughs> no credit. Wrong, <laughs> it wasn't me. Never happened. Riff wow. Raff, you're out there. If that's <laughs> true, yeah, I I like him more. I love Riff Raff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, we'll, we'll, we'll check that. That's we'll so post about that. That's so. hilarious. Holy crap. Yeah, so we'll definitely look into that. I didn't know that. Uh, so we're going to give a DKD a second here. So the NBA this year uh, finally added, finally got, got in their right minds to allow the players to wear whatever they want, their, their signature shoes. There's been all cr- kinds of crazy shit out there. 
DKD, has it been as good as it you thought? Personally, I think this rule change is like 10 years too late. I think this just should have been done a long time ago. I mean, it's sneakers at the end of the day. Um, it's... I mean, guys like P.J. Tucker, they didn't abide by this rule anyway. I mean, P.J.'s brought out some unbelievable heat so far this year. Um, and, I mean, you see guys like Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown had a shout-out for T-Mac in the uh, opening game of the it's season. It's pretty sick wearing, how they, like, they T-Mac, like, one red, they, like, one blue. on him and stuff. Like, Kyrie's just so sick. And, like, just, like, signature player shoes are yeah, so sick. Yeah, I mean, like, every, a lot of people know that know me personally know I'm not a LeBron fan in any stretch, in any way, shape, or form. Um, but LeBron was the origin, one of the originators <laughs> of writing on his sneakers. And I do love that. LeBron, if you're out there, feel free to correct me. Um, yeah, come on, I, LeBron. But I LeBron. will say this. The LeBron shoe line has gone down the toilet. The absolute toilet since the LeBron 10s. Um, I mean, you see guys like PJ now bringing out <laughs> yeah, uh, no, old school LeBron 8s, LeBron 7s. You see guys, other guys LeBron bringing out LeBron 2s are fire. Get out of here. They're not, though. They're just not. They're have, clunky messes at this point. You have them on? He's got them on. DK for the record, LeBron's right now. For the record, I get Yeezys on. Oh! I would never wear that. Nice. No, I no, would I'm never kidding. wear that LeBron crap. We're going to end up doing a, uh, a, a kicks YouTube eventually, too, and then we'll get him on there. So we can do all of that on there. Um, do you have a take on that? Or? I do, yeah. yeah. LeBron shoes are fire. <laughs> okay. Segment. Close, close, the segment. Segment. close the segment. I didn't think he was going to do that. All right, let's close <laughs> So, uh, okay, so Floyd Mayweather. <clears throat> Floyd Mayweather. <clears throat> I hate your guts. <laughs> he's back in the I, headlines somehow. So <laughs> yeah, he he's not even boxing anymore. So he, he was fighting this like Chinese guy that's 27 and 0 in potential kickboxing. That was that was the first report. Now he's like everyone's like you know credible writers being like I don't even know what Floyd Mayweather is signing on to. There's been, there's no language on anything. If it's boxing, kickboxing, MMA, whatever. Floyd comes up today. I was misled by the promoters. Dude, shut up. You only did that to get back in the light, dude. You're the worst. I hate your guts. You want to know dude. what it was? He was probably trying to get it to like where you could. It was only a boxing match, and then the guy was like, "No, like we're not just boxing. We're gonna this fight. This guy's a beast, too. Yeah, he really is. Uh, like, I, I don't know. Well, he might, he might be, but he doesn't look like. Well, well, well. I'm, I'm saying, like, I, 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 I mean, but, but doesn't kick, look like a beast either. Exactly. But kickboxing, He's though, like, like it's a completely different. That's uh, like what I'm saying. Maybe not MMA, but I maybe mean, uh, boxing rather. That would be even if it's destroyed. kickboxing. Yeah, that's a whole different element. The guy would just. Kick him in the face. And <laughs> that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I absolutely hate his guts. I mean, like, oh my god, you're the worst. He's got some nice strip clubs, though. I mean, he's a beast <laughs> for like that sense, but like, dude, you're the worst, bro. You're just I hate your guts. I really do. If you ever fight again, though, I'll bet on you and win. Thanks. Yeah, he. he yeah, I'll go on record. He, he retired on. like four times. Though. I, I know. He he has retired more times than Michael Jordan. Bring and him back. I always said that too. I literally said that. Back. Me and DK are in the same way. And I honestly, I will go on record and say Floyd Mayweather will never lose a fight in the state of Nevada. Yep. Never That's gonna nice. happen. It'll never happen. Facts so only. Never happen. The casinos, uh, casinos do not want it to happen. The gaming commission does not want it to happen. The athletic commission of Nevada does not want it to happen. It won't happen. Oh man, we. We're, we're talking a lot here, but I got one else, one thing else I want to talk about before we do Spicer Eyes. So the New Jersey Devils sign on with the betting commission that now you can bet on the New Jersey Devils in New Jersey. Thank God some league has the balls to do that. The NHL is dying. I'm a huge, huge NHL fan. They have been so fucking boring to watch. This has to happen. Or it's a dying league. I'm telling you. This has to happen in every league because if you really want to, if you really want to get technical here, it happens anyways. It happens anyways. Just bite the bullet. Just bite the bullet and allow it to happen. Why Legalize not? it. Legal, 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 legal. <laughs> you know my take on it. Yeah, yeah. We get the better. I mean, it's here. it's legalized at this point. It was weird. But all right, guys. All good. Um, so we're gonna do the best segment of them all: spice or ice. So this is DKD's first Spicer Rice. So basically, if anyone hasn't seen it, what we go over here is we pick a take that is, we think, outlandish. We're like, this is the best take we've ever had, and then we, all three of us, will grade on how spicy it is. If it's spicy, we give it chili pepper, and then if we, <laughs> if we don't think it's spicy, <sighs> Antarctica in here. Okay. The, the problem is, is that we pick such long-term ones that it's like hard to fact check on mm -hmm. us on it. Like my personal MVP that's going to win the MVP is Kawhi Leonard. He's going to win the MVP. Ding! Check me. Guaranteed. Two peppers from over here. Two peppers. Um, I spicy or icy? Dunny. I give it a one and a half pep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that A GP? 
Ghost pepper? No, 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 no. Oh Two peppers, no GPs. God. GPs are like. Spicy. You want a GP? I kind of want one. I'll drop a GP right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost pepper alert coming up. GP. DFD, eight super contest picks in a row coming up. <laughs> you guys ever heard of. Uh, He's ever seen any magicians in Vegas or anything? Yeah. I'm a big magic fan. That's why I'm a big <laughs> Fitz magic fan. Ryan Fitzpatrick, ladies and gentlemen, is matching up this week against the Redskins defense. Pretty solid defense. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Probably right. one of the better ones. Better defensive backs. Haha, Clinton Dix. And, you know, they're, they're good back there. Josh Norman. Josh Norman. Ryan Fitzpatrick <laughs> throws for not one, not two, not three. Not four, but 500 <laughs> yards of offense Sunday. Ryan Fitzpatrick will throw for 500 yards against the Washington Redskins. Anyone got a hoodie? It's fucking cold in here. Oh, what? <laughs> I, it's, a, it's a ghost pepper tank. I That's can't the, even tell you that how is like the least that. spicy. The ghost only the only reason why he he likes that is because the Falcons ran all over him last week. This is a definition of a game where <laughs> the, the stout defense comes back. It, 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 <laughs> I don't, I don't disregard that, but you know what? let's say that that was a, let's say the Redskins were in that game, right? Mm -hmm. Atlanta would have continued to port it on. Am I right or am yeah, I wrong? Yeah, you're, you're right. Tampa Bay defense, us three could be starting for them. They're terrible. The Redskins are going to be scoring all game, which I is why it's going to be fired Peter away. Four pepper take. I, I mean, like, like it on record. See, the thing is, Sunday slide to the DMs for a free promotion. I'll tell you this. I mean, like, it, it's really hard to say that, I mean, like, it could happen. It's not ice cold like Antarctica, but I'll tell you this. <laughs> it could be. We're going to tell Aqua this next week. Yeah. No, they still if, be. If, if he gets it. If he doesn't, yeah. he's done. <laughs> Personally, I think it's going to no, be. It's, <laughs> it's going to be not one, not two, not three, not four interceptions. Wow. <laughs> I like that. hundred yards. I like that. I, like I, mean, that. I think he's going to have two to Josh Norman alone. I like that. Okay. Oh, I like that. I guess that. you guys will be rudely awake. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I guess I guess DFD's fantasy football sleeper of the week is Fitz Magic. I will be posting every time he every time he succeeds hundred yards. I'll be like, that's one, folks. Yeah. On the story. Wow. So, I actually like ready. that. It's a good point. Ready. All right. So DKD, what do you got? So my spicy take for this week. After seeing the most recent tweets from Le'Veon Bell, I don't think he's ever going to play another another snap in the AFC. Whoa, I that, like that. That's spicy. I, you, you did see, a little at first, there. at first, I at, at first, he's he, I see he's ever going to play. I'm like, that's a yeah. fucking easy one. That's like, a Pittsburgh. really good question. No. So the AFC is a great one. <sighs> Because it can't be cold. It can't be cold. No. Because cold no, is something that's, that... That's a two and a half pepper take. On it's my cold when Reed says something. Only one DBD says something. It has yeah, to be he's got automatic. a lot of cold takes. You guys know that <laughs> out there. Like his, his picks. Oh, man. Ice cold. Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Uh, so, I think I might give him a GP. Whoa. Whoa. I, I like it. Right, because, well, like, but, all right, so, so, on top of that, branch off of that. Who, what teams do you think he's going to play for? Personally, I think there's a few NFC NFC teams that could use his help. Um, I think one right off the bat is the defending Super Bowl champions. I think the Philadelphia Eagles could really use a Le'Veon Bell. Um, I did think, they just get? They got a running back, didn't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, they have a few, but nobody can stay healthy. Uh, All right, guys. All right, so we're going to conclude here. Numbers. Yeah, two and a half. GP. GP. It's fire take on his first one. I appreciate that. All right, guys, so... We're going to conclude here. We really appreciate you guys listening. Um, in all seriousness, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without you guys. Every week we're growing. Every week we're getting better. And we wouldn't be able to ha live our passions at this point. Um, and if anybody has any questions for us, we're the, I will guarantee we are the most um, responsive Instagram team brand of all time. DM us. We will answer. Unless something random. We won't probably do that. But... Uh, I really appreciate you. Any closing remarks, DFD? No, not really. Um, no, just say thanks, everyone, for listening and watching. Um, yep. We're still growing, so slide into our DMs. Follow us at Daily uh, Football Dosage on Instagram. Uh, any fantasy advice, DraftKings, anything like that, I was in 30th place going into halftime of the 4 o'clock games out of 190,000 people. How come that didn't come up at all? Fire. I know. Well, did you, did you end it. up cashing? Uh, I got like a hundred bucks. It was the twentieth, but it was the that's fact a that really good. That's a good cash. But I was catching for like four thousand at one point. I was like, holy shit! And and then Wait, I, I don't know about that. 
I texted it to you guys. Yeah, but like, I guess you didn't bring it up. But I only have one guy going at four, so uh, I was just... And then the Ram Saints game at like... Uh, the yeah. over hit in the first... Literally yeah, almost hit in the, the first half. Yeah. I had so the over of that. Eight, Thank five points score in the game, and it, I only had one guy. So it's just wow. everyone was catching me, and I got like 500th place or something, but still. Uh, so yeah, if you need any advice, slide into the DMs. Uh, I'll, we'll post picks and stuff like that, too, so... Give your closing remarks. here for you. Honestly, thank you guys for uh, for having me on this week, and I look forward to being back for the weeks to come. And make sure you guys follow uh, follow at Daily Kicks Dosage on Instagram as well. Yep. So you guys will be able to find all of our stuff in the bottom links on on um, on YouTube. Uh, it'll be all there, and then on the podcast, it'll be all there as well. Love you guys. Thank you.